So a lot of you guys have asked me how to make professional quality YouTube videos. And to be honest, it's much simpler than you probably imagined. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a few simple tricks that I use to improve the quality of my content. Let's go. So if you don't have a tripod or you're trying a shot which perhaps you can't use it for, then inbuilt stabilization is really, really useful. I'm using Final Cut Pro, but everything I show you here, you should be able to do with most video editing programs. Color correction is something that is often overlooked, but it's actually really, really important. The output out of a lot of standard digital cameras tends to be overblown. Sometimes the contrast and the colors aren't quite how you'd like them, so you can actually change that post-production. Now what I tend to do to make the video a more pleasant viewing experience is to reduce the contrast on the really, really bright areas and increase it on the really dark areas, and also reduce saturation a bit. This gives it a slightly more faded look, which has actually been proven to be more pleasant to view. Sliders are undoubtedly useful bits of kit, but they're also a little bit of a hassle and quite expensive to buy, and you can achieve a very similar effect just by cropping your video and then making it move to the left or the right, or even up or down. This actually adds a little bit of interest in your shots and changes up the standard pans and tilts that you're probably used to doing. The last thing I'm going to show you is called the letterbox, and this is something which probably without realizing you see a lot happening in cinemas. It basically changes the aspect ratio of your video, adding black bars to the top or the bottom. Now if done correctly, this can actually make your video look really professional and really cinematic, but if done wrongly, all you end up doing is annoying your viewers and restricting your field of vision, so be a little bit careful when using it. So guys, that's it from me for now. I really enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, or you want me to make it a series, then maybe just let me know in the comments below. If you want to take YouTube seriously, then for Mac, I would recommend Final Cut Pro. And for Windows, I'd go for Sony Vegas. There are cheaper alternatives, but they just won't give you the flexibility that these programs will. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you next time.